at weapons and bombs. If you try anything, you will die. It's 1976, um, uh, and uh, uh, an airliner that's flying from uh, Tel Aviv to Paris, which stops off in Athens, um, is hijacked by two Germans, um, uh, Brigitte Kuhlmann and uh, Wilhelm Bose, um, and they take them to... Uh, and, and two Palestinians, um, and they take them to, um, first of all, they go to uh, Libya, where they refuel, and um, and then they take the plane to Uganda, um, to um, Entebbe Airport in Uganda. The Germans separated the Jews. We have to act. There could be no negotiations with terrorists. You want to invade Uganda, Shimon? We give it back to them when we leave. It transpires that uh, Idi Amin um, is giving them uh, is is also involved in the hijack and is prepared to allow the the, the passengers to be kept there until the uh, until until the Israelis give in to the demands, and obviously every, no one thought the Israelis could possibly go and rescue them because it's four thousand miles away from Israel, and um, and you would have to fly you know basically for sort of twelve hours to get there and uh, through all sorts of hostile territory and um, and hostile Arab states whose radar would pick up any rescue mission. So uh, people just believed it was an impossible thing to do. These men bear no grudge against you. But if your government do not negotiate, they will kill two children every 24 hours. The hostages were then held for a week um, in Tebi Airport, where there was other Palestinians who were waiting there as well. We were able to kind of reinforce the four hijackers. And they were also protected by the Ugandan army. Um, so the scenario, so the, it's about the week that they spend in the terminal together and the Israeli government and the military in Israel trying to find some way of mounting an operation to free them. <laughs> 